Yesterday we talked about top strategies for trading in prop firm challenges in NinjaTrader 8. This is in multi charts, testing back to 2018. This is a basic gap continuation strategy on the NASDAQ. You can see some of the recent performance as well as some of the recent trades. You can see this is a long only $1,200 stop loss gap continuation strategy only using one data series, the NASDAQ futures on data one, no market internal data. And you can see a winner here, a loser, a loser, a winner, a loser, a winner. And so let's look at the statistics. Statistics often give expectations of what happened in the past. Past performance is not indicative of future results. I like the low drawdown in this setup, the simplicity of the strategy. I like the average trade profit. Yesterday, we looked at the average trade profit in NinjaTrader 8. And going back three years, the average trade profit was almost $500. In this case, we're going back about six years six and a half years and the average trade profit is still very high for a day trade strategy three hundred and twenty one dollars sixty one percent profitable three hundred and fifty nine trades in six and a half years um, and you can see average winning trade average losing trade largest winning trade largest losing trade and so let's look at the equity curve and the drawdown curve, the closed trade drawdown is 3,600. You can see from this that the um, max strategy drawdown from equity peak to closed trade is 5,680. So we focus in our trading on the closed trade drawdown and um, prop firm challenges. You have to be more focused on the maximum drawdown from an open trade equity peak. And so most professional traders don't uh, trade with parameters that are that tight, really tight trailing stop losses on open positions. But if you do, this is the number 5680, which is still a very, very good number. Uh, considering a six and a half year back test, trading one contract of the NASDAQ futures. And so here's the equity curve again. And you can see, you know, in 2020, the range has expanded. And so the equity curve accelerated. Because this is a type of strategy that takes advantage of big moves that can happen in the market. And not all not all moves are big. You get a lot of choppy days, a lot of average days, and then you get those big moves. And if you're looking for a strategy to have the opportunity to capture those moves, this one has had the tendency in the past to do that. Like I said, no no um, past performance is not indicative of future results, but a six and a half year back test on this is what we are looking at right now. Here's a total trade analysis. Once again, let's look at the strategy performance summary. 115.470. And then we see the profit factor of 2.03. You see um, the max, max trade close drawdown 3,600. So here's some additional performance statistics. The um, return on initial capital. That's not. That's just based on a one hundred thousand dollar account. We you don't necessarily have to have a one hundred thousand dollar account um, to trade this. So that number could be higher. You see the return on account, and these numbers are not numbers. We don't typically look at percentages when we're just looking at one Nasdaq future. We're just thinking about trading one Nasdaq future uh, for six and a half years. What would that have looked like in the past? And we're not trying to. Uh, generate some sort of compounded annual rate of return. It's possible you could do that, um, but we're just looking at the total net profit on one NASDAQ futures contract. So um, there, is no, there is no slippage in commission factored in. That is true. The total trade analysis shows 321, and so lots of room there for slippage in commission. I could have added that, but I just, I just set this up, and I didn't include that in the video. Typically, we look at $25 average round turn slippage and commission. Some trades are more, some trades are less. The factor, the difference being the slippage, the commission should be the same with your broker, but the slippage can sometimes, it can go in your favor, sometimes it can go against you. So on average, we see about $25 round turn slippage and commission per contract. And so this is just, once again, this is just one contract, no compounding, and going back six and a half years, trading in NASDAQ future strategy, and this is the Gap Continue 2020 long only with a $1,200 stop loss. Hey, David Bean here. Welcome to Capstone Trading Systems YouTube page. 
Be sure to subscribe to join our community of algorithmic traders. We are real money traders. We share our winning streaks, we share our losing streaks, as well as market updates, strategies, and coding tips.